Hi boys and girls. Welcome to another week in lockdown. So have you all had a nice weekend? It was very sunny. It's been lovely. Been enjoying all the nice weather. I know lots of you have been planting. And I know Mrs McAdam's been planting. She's been planting a special sunflower for each group in the nursery. So remember to share anything you're planting with us on our Twitter page at AcreDite1. And if you don't have Twitter, there's also the Parents Facebook page, so you can catch us on there too. Anyway, I thought I could come on and read you a story that all the boys and girls at PATHS had been reading. And it's a very important part of PATHS, because it's when Twiggles learns how to do Turtle. And Turtle is when you've got those uncomfortable feelings. And it's giving you a wee strategy so that you can stop and think for a wee minute and make a good choice. Because sometimes if you're going through all those uncomfortable feelings, you might not make the best choices. So Twiggle shows us a wee idea. Well, it's not even Twiggles that shows us. It's the wise old turtle that shows Twiggles first. So, I wonder if I've got any visitors in this lovely jazzy rainbow bag. Who's in here? Now, Ozzy, if I bring these out, you've not to bite any of my, my friends, okay? You need to watch him, boys and girls. First of all, I've got Duke the dog. Hi, Duke, how are you? Uh-huh. Duke said, he's been missing everybody. Give them all a wee wave then, Duke. Hi. Right, Duke, you sit over here. And let's see who else we've got inside our bag. Now, Ozzy, you've not to touch Duke. Oh, I've got oh, one of my special friends. I've got Henrietta. Hi, Henrietta. How are you? Uh huh. Oh, I know. I've been enjoying all those stories too. Henrietta said she's been enjoying seeing all the other lovely ladies telling stories, and she especially enjoyed Mrs. Millen's story when she went on an adventure with the teddy. We're awful glad that the teddy was found because Mrs. Millen was worried about him. She thought he was lost. And they didn't they didn't find all of the rainbow picture, but they found some of the rainbow picture, didn't they? And it was on that wee fairy's wings. I thought that was a good idea to use that. Right, you sit down as well. <laughs> oh Ozzy, where am I going to put my friends if you're changing where you're sitting? He's some boy, so he is. Right, we'll pop these up there. Who else have I got? <gasps> Got Daphne? Hi Daphne. It's lovely to see you. Uh-huh. Oh Daphne's been enjoying all of the lovely singing that's been going on, yeah? Uh-huh. Oh, did you like doing baby shark do 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 do, do baby shark do do, do 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 I like that too. That was fun. I'm awful glad Katie sang that for us. Can you have a wee seat too, Daphne? Pop you up there next to Henrietta. Just be careful you don't fall off because you're up a wee bit high there. And then last but not least, boys and girls, who else have I got? Oh, of course, it's our friend Twiggles. Hi, Twiggles. Oh, it's been very sunny, uh-huh. Have you been enjoying the sunshine? Uh-huh, yes. Oh, well, that's what I was going to do just now. I was going to read that story so that all the boys and girls could remember how to do a turtle. And then you can maybe show them again at the end. Aha, uh -huh, let's do that. Twiggles said, could you just sit me down nice and comfortable so that I can listen to the story? So let's see how Twiggles learns to do turtle. Twiggles the turtle liked going to school. At school, he saw his friends Henrietta the Hedgehog, Daphne the Duck and Duke the Dog. And their friends are with us today. Twiggles liked his teacher, Miss Cathy. He liked circle time and having cheese crackers for snack. We have cheese crackers in our nursery, don't we, snack time? Twiggles' favourite place to play was in the block area. Most days, Twiggles and his friends had lots of fun playing together. Look, there they all are, with happy, smiley faces. So I think they're having a, a comfortable feeling there if they're being happy. 
But sometimes, if Twiggles felt sad or mad, he would say or do mean things. Look at Twiggles' face now, boys and girls. Is he still having that comfortable feeling of being happy? Oh, I don't know. He looks a bit angry to me. One day, Twiggles and his friends built a super tower in the block area. Henrietta decided the super tower needed just one more block up the top. She stood on her tippy toes to reach the top of the tower. Oh, oh, what do you think might happen? All of a sudden, there was a loud crash. The super tower came tumbling down and the blocks fell all over the floor. Oh dear. How do we think Duke is feeling here? It looks as if he's a bit shocked, doesn't he? Sometimes that happens though and it's just an accident. Twiggles felt very, very angry. Inside, his heart was beating really fast and he felt like he was about to blow up. That's not a nice feeling to be having, is it not? You ruined our super tower, he yelled at Henrietta. I don't want to be your friend. Twiggles was so angry that he pushed Henrietta on top of the blocks. Henrietta felt scared. The blocks had hurt her when she fell on them and her feelings were hurt too. What do we think, boys and girls? Do we think Twiggles made the right choice there? Yeah, he was feeling awful angry. His heart was beating fast and he felt like he was going to blow up. It's okay to feel angry, isn't it? But it's not okay to hurt your friends. Let's see what happens next. Miss Kathy said, Twiggles, I know you are angry, but shouting at Henrietta and pushing her down are not okay choices in our classroom. Tomorrow, she said, I want you to talk to my friend. His name is the wise old turtle. He will help you to learn how to calm down when you're feeling upset. <gasps> Look, Twiggles' his head is hung low, boys and girls. How do you think he's feeling now? Is he still feeling angry? Mm, I don't think so. Is he feeling happy? No, because when you're happy, your head's up and you're smiling and everything in your face and your body lifts. His head's hung low, he looks a bit sad and I think he's even maybe a little bit disappointed in himself. Because it wasn't a good choice he made at all. For the rest of the day, Twiggle's friends stayed away from him. On the way home from school, no one wanted to sit next to Twiggles <coughs> on the bus. Twiggles felt lonely without his friends. Why do you think Daphne and Duke and Henrietta, why do you think they didn't want to sit beside Twiggles? Hmm? Do you think you'd want to sit beside someone who was pushing you and shouting at you and hurting your feelings? No, it doesn't make for a good friend, does it? And look, Twiggles is all alone and he's feeling very sad. The next day at school, Twiggles played by himself. He felt very sad about what he had done to Henrietta. Twiggles, wise old turtle is here to talk to you, Miss Cathy said. I hope Wise Old Turtle's got a solution to this problem and can make it all better. Wise Old Turtle and Twiggles sat in the quiet corner. Twiggles told Wise Old Turtle what had happened with Henrietta. He told Wise Old Turtle that he sometimes has problems with his friends when he gets angry or upset. Twiggles, you already have the answer to your problem wherever you go said the wise old turtle. What do you think the answer is, boys and girls? 
it's painting. It's your shell. Why is old turtle said? If you feel angry, sad or upset, in any way, you can go inside your shell to calm down. I call this doing turtle. Watch me. Go inside your shell like this, said the wise old turtle. And when you're inside your shell, you do three things. First, you tell yourself to stop. Next, you take one long, deep breath. Then, you say what the problem is and how you feel. This will help you to calm down and stay in control, wise old turtle explained. The problem is, I feel... So how was Twiggles feeling? Yeah, he was feeling angry. So Twiggles would maybe say, the problem is, I feel angry because you knocked down my tower, Henrietta. That's what he should have said, and not pushed her and hurt her. The next day at school, Henrietta still felt angry at Twiggles for pushing her down in the block area. So she grabbed his picture that Twiggles was drawing and ripped it in half. Mm. Do you think Henrietta made a good choice there? Because remember what we said, sometimes if you're feeling angry or upset, those emotions get in the way of making a good choice. I don't think that was the right choice Henrietta made there. Two wrongs don't make a right, boys and girls. Twiggles started feeling very, very angry inside his body. He wanted to hit Henrietta. So remember all those feelings, his heart's beating fast, and he's getting really angry, and his instinct is he wants to hurt Henrietta. But... Then, he remembered what the wise old turtle had taught, taught him. He could do turtle. Twiggles pulled out his arms and legs and head and pushed himself into his shell and he said, stop. What did he do next? Can you remember? Mm -hmm. Next, he took one big, long, deep breath. Ready? Wiggles could feel inside his body that he was starting to calm down now. So after that, he came out of his shell. He told Henrietta, the problem is that you tore my picture and I'm feeling angry about this. Hmm? Henrietta's looking a wee bit puzzled now. I think maybe she's thinking, was that the right thing I did? I don't think so. Miss Kathy gave Twiggles a compliment. <gasps> Can we remember what that is? What's a compliment? That was one of our challenges there at the weekend, to give someone in your family a compliment. A compliment is the best gift in the world that you can give anybody, boys and girls. It's when you say something to someone about what you're proud about them, what you love about them, something that they've done something really kind and you say thank you. A compliment's the best gift you can give anybody, boys and girls, because it's the gift of making someone else feel happy. And it's such a kind thing to do. That's nice that Miss Cathy gave Twiggles a compliment. She said, I like the way you did turtle to calm down and you used your words to talk to Henrietta. Henrietta said she was sorry to Twiggles for tearing up his picture. And Twiggles said he was sorry for pushing Henrietta down into the blocks. Twiggles and Henrietta were friends again. Oh, so glad. I was a bit worried that they wouldn't be friends ever again. Henrietta asked Twiggles to teach her how to do turtle. Twiggles taught all of his friends how to calm down when they felt upset. Soon, the whole class would be doing turtle. Now what's very important in this picture, boys and girls, as you can see, 
the other animals, they don't have shells like twiggles. So what they're doing is a different technique. Will we remember what that is because we were learning that. Miss Pringle was learning you all that at paths before we stopped going to nursery. So, we don't have a shell, but we do have our arms. So we're going to make our pretend shells. So if you're feeling upset or if you're feeling angry because we're all at home and sometimes we can get a wee bit stressed out because we're all together all the time and especially if you've got brothers and sisters sometimes you might not be playing very nicely and maybe you're not sharing or maybe you're just feeling a wee bit anxious about things but if you have any of those uncomfortable feelings in your tummy now remember that's when your feelings are giving you a warning so your heart might be beating fast you might get really hot you might feel like you're going to blow up like twiggles did but what you can do is stop and do turtle you can teach all the people in your family how to do turtle too so the first thing is we're going to go into our shelves shelves so we've got our hands out and we cross our hands across our bodies that's us inside our shells. This is our pretend shell, boys and girls. And then, what do we do next? We say, stop. So we stop what we're going to do. We go inside our shell. When we're inside our shell, we take one big, long, deep breath. Ready? Practice that again, boys and girls. So you're going inside your shell. So you stop. And then you take one big, deep long breath. Can you feel that, boys and girls? Because I can feel that in my body. When I take a big, deep breath, I can feel my shoulders relaxing. And I can feel my body calming down inside. Once you've took that big, deep, long breath, the next thing you do is, when you're ready, when you're feeling calm, you can come out of your shell. And then you can see, the problem is, I was feeling angry, or I was feeling sad, or I was feeling scared, any of these uncomfortable feelings. And you just tell the person how you're feeling. And why that made you feel that way. And then you can have a conversation and things will all get sorted out. Because we don't want to make bad choices. Don't we not? Because all our feelings are okay. But we always need to talk about them. And then we can always get back to the best feeling of all. And that's the one of being happy. <laughs> I hope you liked that wee story, boys and girls. And tomorrow look out on our Twitter page because there is another challenge tomorrow and it might be something about Twiggles teaching everyone how to do turtle and he might need some helpers for that. Okay, so I'll go just now and I'll see you all very soon. Bye-bye.